Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated if you'd subscribe also. It doesn't cost anything, and that's great value for money. So what I want to talk to you about today is margins. And in Canva, can you create them? Well, yeah, you can. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but I'm going to show you how. I've already created a video, and here's a link for that up here. Um, and that's all about creating your margins using blocks. So it sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But it actually works, and it's quite a popular video. And I believe it's helped quite a few people. But now I'm going to show you how to do it using the ruler guides. So um, this will be interesting. Right, the first thing we do, we go to an Amazon page and there's a link for it on the screen and there's also a link for it inside the description. You just scroll down there and you'll see it there. So what you need to, to know from this, and it's not just for Amazon, this is a pretty, pretty much a template for all publishing. Um, so if you wanted to self-publish with Lulu um, or Ingram Spark, you can use this same system here that's on Amazon's page. So what we're looking at is I'm going to imagine that this book I'm creating is 300 pages. So we look at this table here, 151 to 300 pages. The inside gutter margin, so when you open the book, it's this first page that you see. I'm going to Canva, create a new design, custom size, and I'm going to go with a 5 by 8 inch book for this one. You can use any size you want. The outside margins are all going to top, bottom, and outside margins are all going to be the same as you set them up for this one, 5 by 8 inch. It's only the gutter margin that will change, and that's what that table's for. Now I want 0.5, so half an inch. And I go right over to this edge here until my mouse changes. Yours, will, Your mouse will be different than mine, no doubt. And then hold the left mouse down and drag a ruler. Now if your rulers aren't set on, you just go to File, the top here, where it says Show Rulers and Guides, and just click. So you've got a tick. Right, so I'm at half an inch there. Now we want the other side, and the gutter margin, like I say, is on the left. This is the first page that anybody sees. So we now want the one on the right, the outside margin. So if we go to Amazon's page again, we go to outside margins and no bleed. And that's what I want for this book. And it's at 0.25. All of them are at 0.25, no matter how many pages you've got, whether it's 24 to 828. Your outside margins do not change, and that goes for the top and bottom. Now, I don't like 0.25, because if you can see here, with this, this diagram, the 0.25 goes between two, um, two tenths and of an inch, and it's very, very hard to exactly pinpoint where that is. And I don't like that, so I go for 0.30. So I make it that little tiny bit bigger. You wouldn't even notice. So I make it 0 0.30 instead of 0.25. And I do that for the top and the bottom. And I do that in all of my books, uh, no matter what size they are. Now, if it's bleed in your book, and you want, as you can see here, 0 0.375 for any size of book. Now, again, I don't like that kind of measurement I like it to be nice and straightforward so instead of 0.375 I go for 0.4 or 0 0.40 if you like and that keeps it nice and simple for me and it puts my marker on a pointer on, on one of the tenths of an inch instead of somewhere in between we want 0 0.30 for the outside okay so we go right over here again and we drag right across that's five inches wide, as it says there, five, zero to five. And if I go one, two, three from the five, that's my 0 0.30. Now we want the top and bottom. So we go to the top until the mouse changes and we drag down another one. And we want 0 0.30 for this, or as near as, damn it. Right, so okay, so that's from the zero, one, two, three. That gives me that one. We want one for the bottom now and drag that down and we want from the 8 because it's 8 inches long 
go backwards. So we've got one, two, three, and we're up here. Okay, so that's all the outside margin and gutter margins done. And this is just the start. Everything you do in this page continues throughout the pages of your book. So now we want this outside margin on the opposite side. So we've got a large gutter on this side. This is ready for the next page. And we drag another one. We want 0.5. Now we go over to the other side where it's at 0.5 and we want another 0 0.30 here. So we drag another line and we're at 0 0.30. You can see now through this picture that we can use this no matter which side of the page we're working with. We're, you know, So if we flip from page 1 to page 2 we can still use this setup. We just move the text left or right. Now, what we want now is we want header and footer sections, if that's what you want, if you, if you need them. And we drag down, but that takes me to 0.5. And we'll do the same at the bottom, and we'll take that to 0.5. So we're going to add a simple text box, just pick the smallest size text. I want to change this to a 10, because it's not uh, that important, it's only the header. So I'll move that up and push that up to the top of the line and drag this box right over to the 0 0.30, to the outside margin. And we're going to drag it this way to the edge of the gutter margin, the 0 0.50. And that's basically it. Now I'm going to copy that, paste, and move it right down to the bottom. And I'm going to put it in this section down here and push it to the bottom line, right? Push it right down to the bottom line. And as you can see, it reaches to the outside margin at 0 0.30 and the gutter margin at 0 0.50. Right, I would just call this 1. And this I will call margins. Because that's what we're going to title the chapter in this book, this first chapter. We're going to now look at putting the chapter lines in, because we'll be able to use them as we go along through the book, or as you go along through the book. So I'm going to, this, for this I'm going to drag just to the halfway mark and snap to the grid there. And I'm going to pick a text. Let's have a look, we'll have that one. Let's get rid of a couple of these little bits out of here. And centre it just above the line there, and drag this box to the edge at 0.30 and to the edge here at 0 0.50 and I could centre these right okay now I could move that up there if I just go for two points two little arrow keys up and we're going to call that margins and we're going to change this to chapter one just for reference your page numbering does not start until the first page of the first chapter and the first page of the first chapter is usually always on the right hand side of the book. Right, so we need another text box. So we pick another bit of the smallest text, we push it up to the line there, we push it up there so it's touching the 0 0.50 and we drag it to the 0 0.30. Now it's centered here and it's a bit big, it's 14. I always stick to about a 12. Now if you want to know anything about kerning, and hyphenation, which you're going to need really, ideally, if you want to align left and align right um, your text, so you want them basically aligned, so they'll hit both sides of the margins. That's usually the case, so it looks like a block of text. That's usually the case if you want to do non-fiction more than anything. For novels and, and fiction of, of most kinds, you can align the text to the left, and that's what we're going to do with this align it to the left. So I'm going to pinch a little bit of text and I'm going to show you what I mean. Right, okay, don't worry about the uh, when, when I tick the box you see all these errors or whatever else, suggestions. I use Grammarly and it gets into everything. I actually really like it. I'm not affiliated as, as you know about things, so I'm not trying to sell you anything. It's just something I like. This text is now aligned left, or left aligned, however you want to say it. Now if I pick this text box, and I try to justify it, 
what you end up with is huge gaps like this. Massive gaps. So how do you fix them? Well, you can start by trying to hyphenate because kerning isn't going to work. So what do we do there? Let's try this journeys. If I split that up, yeah, okay. And if I put the hyphen there, will it work? Yep, and this complicated here, I bet I could squeeze that in. Pretty much. So let's go with that. Yeah, so that's better too. I'd probably squeeze that in even a bit better than that. But it does work, and if that's if you want to go, if you want to justify to the left and to the right margins. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back to centering that, to left aligning it, sorry. If I'm creating a novel or non-fiction, that's the way I would have it. Duplicate. This is going to be the second page, so I can remove that, and I can remove that. I'll leave the, the ruler there, the guide. I'll move the text, or put add in text, whichever text I'm deciding to use for this, and change the number to a 2. And what else is wrong with this picture? Everything's still moving over to the right. We've got the gutter margin still on the left, and the outside margin still on the right. So we need to change that. We just move the text box over so it touches the point three zero which is now the outside and it touches the point five zero which is now on the other side and we do that with the text box underneath and we do that with the number once we've got a bit of a roll going you know it becomes really really easy so i duplicate and it's gone straight underneath it's copied straight underneath that we don't want it wanting it to the end so we go to the end there I'll zoom in a little minute margins can still stay I can move margins out because we're not ready for another chapter yet I can move my text box up and keep it within the margins that are already set up I change this number to three and we're having something like it I can now remove this if I go to one of my books on the left hand side I have the title so let's say for instance here page 2 is the left hand side because the margin is on the the gutter margin is on the right I'm going to call it all about margins and on the page after that if I zoom out it goes to margins now we want a fourth page It'll get easier uh, because we're not having to delete any sort of uh, margins or chapter here uh, as we go. We could just copy these pages. We want a fourth page. And to get a fourth page, we're still on the even numbers, so we copy or we duplicate that. It's gone straight down underneath. We want it at the end. So we go down one. And there we are. And we don't have to move, mess about with these headers anymore and unless we come up to a chapter where we'll just remove it change the page number to four and we continue on and on and on like that canva will only let you have 150 pages i want a 300 page book so what i'll have to do is once i've finished entering all my text into here i will just go to file make a copy and i have two it's that simple really i just then add it join them together in a in a pdf merger online for free there's plenty of them just do a little search there's also a link for um i love pdf in my description and it's brilliant like i say it's brilliant and i can i have the full version of that but uh even without you can do 100 megabytes which is enough for a, a 300 page book no problem unless it's every unless every page is a picture right okay so that's that 